Right, good morning fishy people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish On TV and I will warn you before this video starts um, there will be no fishing footage whatsoever. It's basically about my cameras that I use for fishing, uh, for recording the fishing. Um, I'm using the GoPro 8 at the moment. I've just received a brand new GoPro 9 which um, I've got my receipt or my order form here and the reason I'm doing this is because YouTube, uh, not YouTube, um, GoPro have asked me to put, put it on to YouTube and you'll see why in a minute. So I ordered Hero 9 Black, brand, brand fine new recording 5k, uh, dual battery charger, where you get an extra battery with that, I've got a replacement camera case because I've got two cameras now and they are quite good, uh, memory a 64 gigabyte memory card another rechargeable battery because the batteries gopro crafty little trick make the battery a little bit bigger and everybody's got to buy more batteries brilliant so i've got three batteries and i bought a remote as well and the reason i've got the remote because I'm, I'm wanting different angles while i'm recording my fishing videos um and the remote if i'm nowhere near it i can just press that and it'll just start recording so it just makes the job a lot easier by the way, GoPro 8 it comes with voice activation. What a load of rubbish that is. Only works if you're in a room like this and works about 5 or 10% of the time. So I know a lot of you people have been laughing at me trying to get it to turn off, but it, uh, it never responds. I think it's done it maybe four times out of 40 odd, 50 videos. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro! Stop recording! But anyway, they're, they're, they're little issues and I'm not too concerned. I want to press the shutter button on for it to start recording and press the shutter button again for it to turn off. Dead simple. So, um, also what you get with the brand new GoPro 9, subscribe to GoPro. It's all inclusive in the price that you pay. I've paid just short of 400 quid for all the bits and bobs that I've... Uh, I've received so you get unlimited cloud storage for your GoPro footage no this is the one no questions asked camera replacement brilliant I'll just repeat that no questions asked camera replacement I'll repeat it again no questions asked camera replacement hmm sounds brilliant I love that up to 50% off mounts and accessories at gopro.com and 100 $100 off your next GoPro so why not why not keep up with the times get the latest one jobs are good and isn't it well I've received this charged the batteries done the um, what you connect it to your your GoPro so it does all the latest updates and the camera just doesn't work it freezes all the time. I mean, it's not been as bad just of late, but it was freezing after 30 seconds. I've just been showing my son the camera because he's going, oh, it's all singing and dancing, that isn't it? So I showed him it and he's like, what? It should, we just cannot get it to work. It's got a very grainy screen and then it'll go to like a pink grainy screen and then a blue grainy screen. Um, you can press the shutter button and it just won't work. And then sometimes it does work and you press the shutter button and you think it's not worked at all and then 60 seconds later it'll just start recording um, loads of problems so I've got in touch with the GoPro eventually you can't you can't phone them um, they don't answer the they haven't answered my emails I've sent three or four they've not sent the emails uh, for the customer support I eventually got in touch with them through the chat you cannot send videos via email to them anymore there are no shops around here at all so i can't take it into a shop but eventually i did get hold of them and they were quite helpful but they've asked me to do this video as proof i can't just send the camera back because i haven't got the appropriate paperwork well i thought the invoices and subscribe to the gopro plus was the appropriate paperwork if there was a fault with the camera i'm not wanting to try and keep it and fleece them i'm just wanting this camera exchanging in fact i wish i'd never bought all this gear it's that, that much hassle i shouldn't have to do this um i wish i'd stuck with the gopro 8 
I wish they'd just offer me a full refund and then I'll go through and just order another GoPro 8. That's how I'm feeling at the minute. I think it's unnecessary for me to have to do this. But they have asked before they will consider replacing the camera for me to do a YouTube video. So let's get onto the camera. You have a look and see what you think. And John at GoPro, yes, she was very helpful, but I think this is pretty ridiculous. I've never bought anything brand fire new where you where you've uh, you've been told that there are always troubleshoot troubleshooting problems and the camera will work. A fix basically. I don't want to buy a brand new camera and have to fix it. I want a brand new camera to do what it says on the tin. That's my opinion. Right, let's get to the GoPro. I'm going to put my GoPro 8 at the side of the GoPro 9. The footage might not be quite as good. I'm going to use my go my old GoPro Hero 3 Plus, which is far better than this GoPro 9 at the minute, unless I'm doing something wrong. But I've spent two or three hours on YouTube. It doesn't look like I'm doing anything wrong at all. There is a fault with this GoPro 9. Right, let's get on to there. Headless switch it on for you. Right, here we are. I ain't no uh, expert in doing reviews and things on cameras, so you will have to bear with me. So just to let you know, there's my charger, there's my extra batteries, the battery that's in the camera already. Subscribe to GoPro on there, no questions asked. Camera replacement, thank you very much. There is my remote, a couple of booklets, and you get a little charger as well. You also get a mount, which I'm using at the minute. Here's my GoPro 9 in its case. That's a great idea, the case. I'll just take that out. It's not the easiest thing to get out. Right, there we go. So here's my GoPro 9. I shall turn it on. We'll press this button here. Press. There. Oh, look at that. Now, I don't know whether you can see that. Don't know how that's coming across on the camera. That's not the best picture, I don't think. And what I did, I've updated the camera through the GoPro app. I've just got it on exactly the same settings as my GoPro 8. But, we'll just put this here. And as you can see, that is recording that. So we'll just turn... My GoPro 8 on that. Is, I mean, I don't know if you notice the difference in timings, but uh, there, look, can you see the difference in the pictures there? I mean, I don't know why it's just turned on its side like that, but uh, that is just awful. And if you turn this round, I didn't even touch it hardly there. Don't I? So it's on photo mode at the minute. That's There we go, looking at me. Turn it back round. That's a slightly better picture. But it's nowhere near as clear as as the GoPro 8. So let's have a look. We'll go back to camera setting. And there we go, video mode. And again, look at that. That is awful footage. It's just dreadful footage is that. It shouldn't be as grainy as that. And that to be fair is probably the best and I can't get this to switch back round again I don't think I've done anything so in photo or video mode and it is usually round about now that it freezes I'm just showing you see if we can no media Oh, there we go. Oh, it's, it froze there. I mean, it shouldn't. I don't know why it's uh, it's turned these it's normally just across here. Yeah, it don't matter what I do with this camera. <laughs> I mean, you can see the quality there. It's. I'm just trying to. It's confused me with it turning round. Oh, it's froze again. I wanted you, I wanted to show you the pinky grain. Oh, there we go. It's freezing again. Don't know what's happened there. It's just not working. 
I mean, the picture that you've seen is up, is absolutely brilliant. But I, I think I've got a, a clip of it within. It's frozen now, so let's just turn it off. No, it's not working. It what? Just oh, there we go. It's turned off at last. Thank you. There we go. It doesn't even oh that. Oh, oh no, hold on a minute, it's turned back on again. Oh, there's there's the pink mode. My apartment, it's like the barrio or... Look at that, that's shocking. Both sides, absolutely shocking. I, I, I just don't know what the... I mean, it's turned it's turned around again, I don't... It's, it must... Uh, I can't get it to come back, there we go. So let's have a look on 4K. There we go, eventually it did it. That's nowhere near as good as um, this one. So what's, let's have a look what that button does. Uh, let's, uh, like I say, I'm no expert, so we'll go back to standard. That's okay. Uh, linear. Want it to go to the top one. Oh, it's froze again. I mean, normally when I put it up, when I put it up to the top and go to the bottom, it goes pink at the top and blue fuzzy grain at the bottom. But I can't show you that because it's froze again. Now that didn't take long, did it? So there's clearly a problem with the camera. I don't have this problem with this camera whatsoever. Uh, it just it just reacts straight away. I mean, you can see, clearly see the difference. It just does it, it does exactly what I want it to do straight away. This one, let's have a look, see if it's rectified itself. No, it's froze again. So we'll just press it. I mean, I know I kept my finger on it last time. We'll just press it to turn it off. Nothing. Press it to turn it off again. Nothing. I'll keep my finger on it till it turns off. Nothing. There's clearly a problem with it somewhere. So, I don't know what you folks think, but I think it needs sending back because what a load of rubbish that is. It should not be doing that. I've been using this for a year and it still works like a good one. This is brand fire new. I don't want to troubleshoot. I don't want a quick fix. It's brand new. I want to be able to take it out of its box, set the settings to the same as this camera, Press that button, it records. That's the job done for me. But what is going on? So, like I said before, these batteries larger, so I've had to I've had to order different batteries and a different battery charger because the batteries in there, I mean I've got five of those, they uh, they are smaller than these. So I've spent quite a lot of money on this GoPro 9 um, and I want it sorting. So GoPro, I know John, they've asked me to send you this. I don't know why you'd want this put in on YouTube video, but people have got to know. Uh, oh, wait a minute, what's happened now? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's there. I don't know. It's, it's unfroze itself. Oh, oh, it's nearly froze itself again there. So let's see if I can get that footage. Oh, it just keeps switching around. But I, I think you get the gist. It's if, if I'm trying to use this while I'm recording and it freezes all the time, it's just no good so GoPro let me know what's going to happen I feel like I want a full refund for everything and just stick with the GoPro 8 I don't know what you folks think but I just think that's just that's just nonsense it's, it's absolutely awful so right I'm not rabbiting on anymore I shall get Headley to put this onto YouTube which I think you should be well beyond now and let's just see what GoPro say right thanks for watching Right, uh, I've tried recording. Uh, this is the fourth attempt. I've just been through on my phone um, just to check, see if it recorded like this footage with the pink grain, uh, but it, it hadn't even recorded, even though I said it was recording. Um, there was just no nothing on the SIM card whatsoever. Um, I think you've got the gist about, I mean, I'd, this footage looks like it's very pinky grainy because I can see myself in the camera there. I can just see my head. Um, so, let me know what you think of that footage. I know I'm no expert. When I use these GoPros, 
I set the settings to what I, I need and basically all I do after that I just press the shutter button to record and that's pretty much it so I do apologize for you camera experts I'm no expert at going through I'd, I'd have to spend a bit more time going from preferences to connections and, and all, all this sort of stuff um, I'm no expert with that I'm holding my hand up there but I know how to work the GoPro 8 the GoPro 9 is virtually the same oh by the way uh, on the GoPro 9 the, the, one of the reasons I went to the GoPro 9 is because you can take the front screen off and replace it you can't on the GoPro 8 that was the the deciding factor for me but I'm really upset to be honest with you it's I've got all this gear I mean if they say oh yeah we'll give you money back for GoPro now it's no good I don't need all these batteries and everything else with it so we shall see what they say whether they'll send me another GoPro 9 or offer me a full refund for everything that I've bought and then I'll just start again I don't know um, I shall be in touch on the chat um, I'm going to send them a link to this and we'll just see if oh, I'll see if this is recorded this time because it did like I say it's about fourth attempt so sorry for rabbiting on it's, it's a bit unprofessional but as you can see I just think that this I'm from Yorkshire and if you don't know Yorkshire it's crap is this a spade's a spade when you come from Yorkshire and this GoPro 9 is a load of crap so there we go and what that means no questions asked camera replacement why I about to do this video don't know I mean can you imagine to do that if you bought a telly it didn't work or you bought a car and you had to, put a YouTube, had to do a YouTube video on everything that didn't work <laughs> right I've had enough of rabbiting on I think you get the gist Turn off!